And the flop comes up, king, king, seven. So no luck there for Paul Volpe. The online professional came in as the chip leader. Imagine free raffle tournaments, giveaways, and hanging with the WPT Global Ambassadors. It's happening now on the WPT Global Discord channel. Stop by for Q&As with Andrew Nimi, Rampage, and Brad Owen. And join our raffles for free tickets to the Sunday Slam. Click the link in the YouTube description below to join. Action on Paul Volpe. He has 10-9 offsuit. He's going to fold. Over to Kai Chang. He's a businessman, but also a top-notch poker player. This is fifth WPT cash. Well, he's raised to 175. Joe out, and look at this. Eric Seidel has pulled the trigger. He's got all in. Well, he's the short stack here. Going to try to make it happen right now. Mill. Well, Kai Chang has one of those borderline hands. What to do, what not to do. Certainly, you want to get rid of Eric Seidel. But on the other hand, you don't want to double him up here. Well, he throws out his bounty necklace. Yes. We know about those vents. We threw ours in the pot. Our opponents took them. We signed their shirts. Eric Seidel smiling. Looks confident, poised. And Kai is going to lay it down. Just doesn't want to take that kind of a medium, moderate weak hand and take a chance on doubling up Eric Seidel. Am I supposed to call? I might double him up. Yes, I should have called. Yeah, that would have been a nice call. He'd have been out in front. Well, there you see the prize money, what they're playing for. Over 1.1 million to the winner, plus getting your name engraved on the WPT Champions Cup, as well as an entry into the season-ending WPT World Championship. A lot on the line for all these guys. Kai is going to quickly fold. Joe now not going to play as well. Eric. Well, Eric, of course, trying to get his name on that cup for the second time. He's got a jack-10 this time. Will he try to steal this pot? Yes, he's going to put it in there all in again. With a jack-10. He's on a rampage, but behind him, Volpe looks down at an ace-4 diamonds. Right. I call. And he's going to make the call. Well, nice call by Paul Volpe right here. He's out in front with the ace high. Paul's got the ace-4. Well, as you can see next to Eric's name is the stack indicator. And you see right now he's on the short stack. He's going to be out of here if he loses this pot. Wow, Paul Volpe with a solid call here. Thank you. Paul finished second in our last WPT event, the LA Poker Classic, trying to improve upon that number tonight. Would love nothing more right now than to get rid of the Hall of Famer, Eric Seidel. Come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. Jack on the slots. Eric, the Hall of Famer, hoping against hope. This won't be his last hand. Here we go. Jack right in the door, but two diamonds on the flop. Eric Seidel has flopped three jacks, but he's up against a flush draw. Never easy. Oh, boy, dramatic flop right there. He flopped three jacks, yet he's in trouble. Here we go. Let's turn this. I can't look. Oh, looking for a diamond that's not the ten of diamonds. Take a diamond oh, no. on the turn. Paul Volpe has made a flush. Eric Seidel must improve his hand to stay alive in this tournament. Needs to make a full house or four jacks to win this pot. Must have help. He's a king, jack, ten or a seven. Oh, boy. Seidel, now the dog. It's an eight it. of hearts. Oh, wow. What about that, man? The Hall of Famer hadn't caught anything all night. He finally flopped three jacks, and he loses to a flush. Horrible. He's so excited for a moment. But look at him. He's always poised. He's a great, great champion. We love to see him at final tables. And Vince, look what's happening now. Eric Seidel signing the T-shirt. Yeah, this is one of those annoying moments when you just want to <laughs> slink away after that abuse. But you got to sign your autograph on a lousy T-shirt. Thanks a lot, Eric. All right. Played awesome. How do I get paid cash like that? Yeah, that's one. Paul Volpe collecting another bounty. Good news. Nice round of applause for the Hall of Famer. There's never been a bounty that ever took the Bay 101. Eric, a gracious loser at this point, going to take home 295000 and he's going over to talk to Matt Savage. Let's see what he has to say. Well, you didn't achieve your goal of getting your name back on the Champions Cup, but tell us a little bit about your experience tonight. 
Oh, it was fun. It was a great atmosphere. These guys were awesome over here. All right. You know, I wish I had done a little better, but uh, you can't win every time you play. So what do you do? Give us your thought on Joe's play tonight. He's come out pretty much firing into the pot every time. Joe is a monster, you know? I think uh, the home court advantage is doing him well. You're a great champion. Kimberly, back to you. Right now, the local Joe Wynn, the telephone repair man, has the most chips, 10.3, and action's on him. Oh, what a story this is. Guy got in this tournament on a $500 satellite. And he's raised with a six of diamonds. Got up to 175 to go. Paul out, and now, Kai Chang with a King Jack offsuit is making the call. Here we go with the flop. Well, flop is queen, queen, eight, two clubs. No help to either player. Kai's going to check. And Joe, the telephone man, going to check as well behind him. And now the four clubs comes off. Wow, three clubs out there. I notice Kai looked down at his hand. And that's a tell that a guy's looking to see if he had a club in his hand. And he does. It doesn't stop Joe Wynn from betting. Yep. 225,000 with just ace high. Kai has seen that he does have a pretty good club up there, and he's going to make this call. We're going to the river. And the river is a four, pairs the board again. So Joe out in front, two pair with ace kicker against two pair with king kicker. Kai is checking again. Joe's going to bet. Yeah, Joe going to bet 325000 here. And he'd like to get paid off with the guy with just king high. Wow, but Kai has different thoughts. He's going to raise this. Wow. He's bet it up to 825000 Now, do you want to just call with two pair in the ace kicker here? Do you really think the guy's got a full house? All right. Wow, he is re-raising. I don't understand this. Pretty aggressive. A testosterone contest. Amazing, Joe is going to re-raise. Says, I don't think you have much. And now Kai, with just the king, what is he gonna do? Oh man, no, say it ain't so. 2.3 million he's See, back here. Over the top, he's just saying, I think you have nothing, here you go. Wow. Just incredible poker we're watching here. Well, I mean, it's just very difficult to call here without a queen in your hand. It's impossible. I mean, Joe virtually shut himself out of this pot when he raised last time. He should have just called when the guy bet 800000 with the ace high. Perfect read by Kai Chang, and wow. he's going to show it, and it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> what a play by Kai Chang this right is there. amazing. That is playing some poker. Well, that's the play of the wow. week. No doubt about it, he has just bluffed the steam right out of this room. Kai Chang with a super bluff right there. That's pretty gross. Thanks, dude. Imagine free raffle tournaments, giveaways, and hanging with the WPT Global Ambassadors. It's happening now on the WPT Global Discord channel. Stop by for Q&As with Andrew Nimi, Rampage, and Brad Owen. And join our raffles for free tickets to the Sunday Slam. Click the link in the YouTube description below to join. Jason loves playing poker as much as anybody I know, and certainly he's well-liked out here on the tour. He certainly is. He plays a whole bunch of tournaments. We've seen him in the World Poker Tour final table before. I'm sure he'll be a champion before long. Now let's get back to this one. Joe Wynn now first to act. Well, he's still stunned about that last pot. Probably stunned the way he played it instead of just calling the guy where he won the pot. He raised him and got re-raised out of the pot. Well, these guys are playing the player and not the cards necessarily. And this time Joe has raised with ace deuce. Pull out to Kai Chang, who has to be feeling pretty good after that amazing play. Has a 10-7 and will make this call. Vince, his reads have been spot on all day long. Timing is perfect. Kai Chang really playing well. And look at this flop. Jack, seven deuce. Chang with the sevens has out flopped Joe, who picks up a piece of that, a pair of deuces. Kai's going to check. Joe's going to bet bottom pair here. And 170 to go. And Kai is going to find out where he's at here. He's getting out raising chips. 400,000. I like this play. Find out where you're at right here, right now. If the guy comes back over the top of you here, just give up middle pair and move on to the next hand. But at least you're not guessing all the way the rest of the hand if he's got it or not. Joe's called this. 
now a diamond comes off. That'll scare both players because neither have a diamond in their hand. You would think, but Kai grabs a handful of those yellows. Oh, he's going to stack them out there. 800,000 he's betting. And now if you're sitting in Joe's seat, you thought your deuces were good because your opponent had a flush draw. Well, he's made the flush, so virtually there's nothing you can beat here with the Stone Cold Bluff. But you just saw him do that the last hand to run you out of the pot. But Joe wisely gives it up here. Kai takes down yet another pot. So Kai Chang on a nice little heater right now. Action is on Kai. And he looks down at the ace eight of hearts. Certainly going to raise with that on the button. Yeah, it makes it 225 to go. Behind him, Joe with a king ten of diamonds making the call. Volpe going out. Well, the same two chip leaders going at it yet again. Flop is Jack, Jack, Jack. Pretty amazing. Well, Joe has checked. Three of a kind on the flop again tonight. We saw three queens earlier. Neither player has a piece of that, of course. That was ugly. Kai has bet 425,000. Continuation bet. Joe is not a believer. He makes the call with the king high. Kai looks a little concerned over that. Now a three comes off. Kai will slow down. He checks it. Well, it goes check, check here. So we're going to the river. Now a jack comes off. Now Kai has the best hand possible. Quads with an ace kicker. But for some reason, Joe is leading out and betting 100,000 here. Just one of those $100,000 bets we saw before tonight. But I don't know why you would bet this. Why not just check and let your opponent bluff at the pot if he's got nothing? If he's got ace high, you can't beat him. And look at this. Kai has raised it. I call. Well, he raised it a half a million, just enough so the guy might call him with King High. And that's exactly the case. And yeah, Joe makes a bad call there. And Kai Chang taking down that pot. Right now he is marching like the Ohio State marching band with great precision. Kai Chang getting all the best of it right now. He's got close to 11 million. Things are going his way. He's a businessman from Albany, California. That's pretty close to this area. And he's quite the poker player, though. This is fifth WPT cash. He actually bubbled in seventh place in the LA Poker Classic a few years back. He's still haunted about that. On. 1.5. Getting back to this hand. Paul Volpe has gone all in with a queen. Ten of hearts. I call. He's going to be called by Kai Chang. Kai's got a beat right now with an ace on the clubs. Well, everybody on their feet. Paul Volpe wants to improve on last week's second place finish. He's going to have to get lucky and win this pot. Otherwise, he'll be our third place finisher tonight. Still pretty good stuff. Second and third and back to back weeks on the WPT, but. Right now, Paul not looking for third, hoping to get lucky here. And the flop comes up king, king, seven. So no luck there for Paul Volpe. The online professional came in as the chip leader. And now he's struggling. Here's the turn, six of diamonds. Volpe in a heap of trouble at this point. Yeah, must catch a queen or a 10 to stay alive in this tournament. Otherwise, Kai Chang, the man who's competed in Ironman competitions, will add another trophy here, perhaps. It's a three. Wow, Paul Volpe out in third place. This astonishing that the two guys that started in fifth and sixth place are now playing for this title. It is. What the hell? These are the last two guys you would have figured would have played heads up for this title. But that's poker for you. And it just shows you anybody can do it on a given day. Oh, Paul Volpe. Considered one of the best online players in the world. Back to back tournaments at the World Poker Tour final tables. Pretty impressive. Couldn't take home 435,000. And he's over to talk to Matt Savage. He took over the player of the year race, over 400,000, and Eric Seidel's bounty. But why do I get the feeling this is not enough for you? Came in, I had two shots, back to back weeks, coming in as chip leader, and couldn't finish. I'm actually not super upset, but. I mean, I kind of am. It, you know, it's bittersweet again, so. Just well, a couple local players here. I mean, did the crowd get to you at all? No, nah, not really. Brought excitement. Doesn't bother me much. All right, well, Paul, see if you can continue your run uh, player of the year. Going to keep trying. All right, thanks.
incredible. You think about all the great names, the bounties, they're out. It's these two right now. Kai Chang with a pair of threes. Sorry about that. And he is going to move it up to 275,000 to go. Joe's going to call, slop around with a six deuce of clubs. Well, as we've said all night long, these guys have come to play, no doubt about it. On has come Jack, 7-5 with two clubs. Joe swapped a flush draw. Action's on him. He checks. Kai with the two threes. He's going to make the continuation bet. 325,000. Now, Joe get aggressive with it? No. He's saying, I just call. I would have raised with the flush draw there had it been me. But Joe opted to call, and here comes the club. After not raising with the flush draw, he's going to lead out and bet in this situation. Now, he's hoping his opponent's got something like Ace Jack and may give him a call here, but that's not the case. Kai gets rid of the two threes. So Joe Wynn taking down that pot. Joe's hobbies are playing poker and drag racing. Yep, he's 35 years old, lives in Sunnyvale, California, right around here. There's the Royal Flush Girls Social Bar. You can sit there and talk to the girls. They're at every WPT event, along with Kimberly Lansing, Mike Sexton, and myself. All right, on to this hand. It's on Joe. Got in this tournament through a satellite. Small investment of 500 bucks, and now he's going after gigantic money here tonight. He's got a 9-8, and he's just going to call. And Kai Chang with a awful 3-10 is going to raise. 300,000 to go. Quick call, though, by Joe. Well, Kai's not raising because of the strength of his hand. He's raising because he thinks his opponent is weak, and he's right about that. Well, let's come queen 9-7 with two spades. Kai going to make the continuation bet, as you can see. Joe, of course, has made two nines and probably is not going anywhere. Yeah, 450 is bet, and Joe, Joe makes a, call. a quick call by him. Well, every time he acts quickly like that, he's got some kind of hand. I'm sure Kai realizes it. A deuce comes off. Well, Kai does realize that because he checks. 700. He's not going to jeopardize any more chips. 700,000 to bet by Joe. Kai cannot call. He can fold or raise, and he opts to fold. So Joe Wynn taking down yet another pot. One step closer to fulfilling his dream, and what a dream it is, winning a WPT title. He's just going to call it. But Joe sees a spot. He's going to raise with Jack Tennis Spades. Makes it 300,000 to go. Kai's going to call it. Well, Kai says one of his favorite players is WPT champ Nam Lee. He looks a little bit like him, and his demeanor is exactly like him. Calm, cool, and collected. Well, flop comes up 995. They both check. Do some hearts on the turn. Well, Joe's going to bet 300,000. Incredibly, Kai calls. Now, he's not calling because he thinks he has the best hand. He's calling to set up a play on the river where he can bet and win this pot. Deuce of clubs comes off. So three clubs out there and two pair out there. 700,000. Not going to help Joe, but he doesn't care. He says 700,000. This will probably be the best place to win a title, just to have the fans, the family, the crowd here at home, will mean everything. I'm gonna just put in my best effort, my best game, and uh, see if we can do it. We've seen Kai bluff him out before by making moves on the river. Doesn't do it this time, gives it up. Vince Joe Wynn trying to do something here tonight that only four players in WPT history have done. Come from sixth place, last place at the final table to win the title. Can he do it? Imagine free raffle tournaments, giveaways, and hanging with the WPT Global Ambassadors. It's happening now on the WPT Global Discord channel. Stop by for Q&As with Andrew Nimi, Rampage, and Brad Owen. And join our raffles for free tickets to the Sunday Slam. Click the link in the YouTube description below to join. Let's go to the play. Joe Wynn with a queen eight, just gonna call. Kai Chang with an ace four, gonna move it up to 300,000 to go. And Joe with a quick call. Okay, so here comes the flop. It's 10, six, three with two spades. No help to either player. Kai first to act, gonna stick out a bet of 400,000. Joe making the call here. No hand, no draw. Except backdoor draws. It's what we call a float bet. Meaning he's calling. 
to take the pot away from his opponent later on to see if it can happen. Six of diamonds hits. Kai's going to check. Well, and here it comes. Joe doing exactly that, betting to take the pot away from his opponent after making the float call on the flop, but not working here against this guy. Oh, 600,000 has been called. What a read. Nine of clubs comes off. No one hits a pair. So again, neither player has anything. Kai's going to check again. 700,000. Gee, Joe is stubborn. He's going to stick out another bluff bet. I don't think we've ever had anybody bet as fast as this guy does on the World Poker Tour. I mean, you couldn't even start a shot clock before he's got his money out there. Forget about using one. Love it. No, oh, I'm impressed with it, too, how fast he plays. Well, I'm impressed Kai's going possibly with his instincts here. Got it. Wow, he made this call. That is really impressive stuff. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful call. Folks, you can certainly see that this guy would deserve to be a WPT champion if he wins this event. No doubt about it. Kai Chang making a great call right there. On the World Poker Tour, just a short while back. He didn't make it this time, but these guys are here sweating the action at the Bay 101. Back to this action, Kai Chang now with a king, four of spades. Low raise, 225 to go. Joe with a 9 7. Oh, he is making the call. They don't fold hands. They fight for every pot. And here we go. And the flop comes queen, jack, 10, two hearts. Both players have an open in straight draw. Yeah, no pairing, but possibilities here. And the marathon man, Kai Chang, is going to bet. Continuation bet, 300,000. Joe's called it. What drama we are seeing? Who will get lucky here? Well, the seven of hearts comes off. So as the cards lie, that's a great card for Joe. He's got a flush draw and the best hand with two sevens. Yeah, he caught a pair. They both check. Down to the river we go. Just check, check. And now the deuce of hearts comes off. Four hearts on the board. Joe has the flush with the nine of hearts. Now Joe has checked. I love this check by Joe. Give your opponent a chance to bluff at this pot. Yeah, Kai is betting. And a snap call by Joe, and he's going to win this pot. Good call. With the flush, and his fans are loving it. The wife here, the brothers are here. He's got three brothers in the house rooting him on. John, Man, and Lang. A lot of friends are here. We're playing some garbage game. Let's do it. There we go. So nicely done by Joe, the local. Kai Cheng still the chip leader with close to 12 million. Joe is coming back. Lines are 50 and 100. Action on Joe. And he's got the 10 deuce of diamonds. It's a Doyle Brunson hand, the 10 deuce suited. Doyle won back to back world championships in 1976 and 77 with a 10 deuce in his hand. <coughs> Doyle's still the oldest player to ever win an event out here in the World Poker Tour. And Joe has raised this to 250. He's been called. And here's the flop 10 7 5. That gives Joe a pair of 10s. And it gives Kai an open in a straight draw. And he's going to check. And again, the snap bet by Joe Wynn. I mean, it's the fastest better we've ever had in the history of the tour. Make no mistake about it, folks. It's like he's playing for five cents and 10 cents. That's what it's like. No and kind I of thing. Like he doesn't care about the chips. What is and the value? He's got are. top pair. Certainly can't blame him for betting here. Can't blame Kai for calling with the open in straight draw either. That's what he's done. So we're going to the turn. This could get dramatic. Well, the nine of diamonds comes oh, off. Man. This gives Kai a straight, but notice that Joe has top pair and a flush draw. Folks, we could see more fireworks here than on the 4th of July. Kai's going to try to trap here. He's checked it. And Joe's going to swing away. 530. Can't blame Joe for betting this hand, but obviously, at least I think obviously, Kai is going to raise it. Well, you don't want your player to outdraw you. That's why you put in a strong raise, and that's, ex well, Yep, he's getting the big chips out to make a strong raise, protect his hand. Oh, boy, he goes to about 2.5 million. Yeah, it's like the telephone man's wire just got spliced there, Vince. And now Joe has got a problem. Well, he's got about 7 million in chips, but it cost him 2 million to call this bet alone. I'm all in. I call. And he's going to go all in, and he's going to get the quick call by Kai. Well, this is it right here. 
Joe must catch a diamond to win this pot to stay alive in this tournament. Otherwise, Kai Chang will become a WPT champion. Everybody on their feet here at the Bay 101, holding their breath, waiting for the river card. It is coming down to the river. One more card. Can Kai do it? Will Joe win his diamond? Here it is. Well, it's a six. Kai Chang is going to be our champion. It is over. Congratulations, bro. No flush for Joe. Kai Chang has done it. Well, Vance, the two guys that started in fifth, sixth chip position battled their way, heads up for this title. Kai Chang coming out on top, and I must say, he deserves this title. Joe Wynn, the telephone man, is the runner-up. And right now, Joe is over to talk to Matt Savage. Joe, you came in tonight as a short stack, but you turned it into over $660,000. How do you feel right now? I um, feel real good, man. I'm on sky high right now. Mm -hmm. I, I wish I could have won the whole thing, but um, still a winner in my book. The pros better watch out and you know recognize the name because I'll be back. Congratulations, Joe. Mike, over to you and the winner. Uh, thank you. Thank you. $5,000 entry, the WPT World Championship, and more importantly, you're going to get your name engraved on the WPT Champions Cup with all the great champions. Thank you very much. <laughs> Kimberly, back to you.